Hi guys, thanks for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. Today's another episode of our vlog where we discuss grooming industry subjects for aspiring groomers or for pet lovers, for pet geeks, people who just want to be in the know. So a lot of the subjects that we discuss are subjects that come up between me and my clients currently, and I figure since I'm discussing it with my clients, it might be a subject that would be interesting for you. So today's subject is going to be on puppy coat change, because we've had a lot of COVID puppies. I've got a lot of new clients with puppies. So want to talk about what puppy coat change is and what it might mean to you as a groomer or as a pet lover and a pet owner. Now, before I talk about the coat change that occurs with puppies, I do want to have a note on coat change. So as dogs mature, there is a mature coat change that occurs. So just like us, uh, dogs get thinner coats, they get gray. So be aware that as your dog becomes a mature elderly dog, you will see some coat change. Uh, that is very normal. We just want to make sure that they have really good nutrition and get them the best coat that they can have possible with the right diet and the right nutrition. Um, you'll also see in adults some coat change occurs. Now sometimes it's just alopecia and I have dealt with that uh, from a grooming aesthetic level, but sometimes adult coat change can mean uh, a health concern, a health issue. So be aware that if your adult coat, uh, if your adult dog has a coat change, a drastic coat change happening in their adult life, go ahead see your veterinarian because it may be an issue that you want to find out about and deal with. Okay, so let's talk about our subject at hand, which is puppy coat change. So every puppy goes through a certain level of coat change, and this is different for every type of breed, for every type of dog. Um, so let's take an example for our short and smooth coated breeds. What you'll see is not too much of a difference. You'll see sometimes a change in texture, a change in color. Uh, one of the most famous uh, examples of this is Dalmatians who are born completely white, and as they grow into their mature coat, they develop their spots. Um, so we know with our short and smooth coated breeds uh, there is a coat change happening with our puppies but again it's not uh, anything drastic so make sure for your smooth or short coated breeds uh, the maintenance while your puppy is going ahead and changing into their adult coat is pretty much the same as you have uh, for their entire adult life which is a rubber brush or a curry brush that goes ahead and distributes the oil on the coat um, and make sure to pull out any dead coat that needs to come out and make room for live coat Okay, so for our double-coated breeds, um, the puppy coat change uh, behaves a little differently is that, uh, so you have double coats, right? So the top coat goes ahead and grows in as the puppy develops into maturity. So you have the downy undercoat, right? And then you have the top coat, the hardy top coat, grow in. Um, and so this is a very nice symbiotic way. The way that you handle your puppy's coat change during this time is the same that you handle your double-coated breeds, is you want to brush, you want to comb, you want to keep that coat open, you want to make room for any any of the dead coat uh, to de-shed properly. And what I suggest for any double-coated breed owner is go ahead and uh, just put a little place in your domicile that you're gonna go ahead and dedicate to brushing your dog. And if you have a double-coated breed and you brush them in one area, just set up a little trash can, set up a little vacuum, brush them in one area, you're gonna go ahead and minimize the shedding that occurs in your home. Uh, so definitely something to do and think about with your double-coated breed. But while they're going through this puppy coat, again, keep that coat open, keep it calm, keep it brush and you're done, gonna do great and your puppy's coat is gonna come in beautifully and so now let's talk about a very interesting and different type of a coat change a puppy coat change that occurs and this occurs for our single coated breeds and I'm gonna talk to you guys about poodles but when I'm talking about poodles I'm also gonna be talking about poodle mixes uh, because we have to remember that our poodle mixes so our doodles and our poos so our labradoodles golden doodles bernadoodles the list goes on and then our poos so our malty poos our she poos uh, our cockapoos these are all relatives of the poodle and by design of these mixed poodle breeds is we want to go ahead and have what they call a hypoallergenic uh, breed which is a single coated breed so by design those mixes those doodles and those poos are trying to achieve that um, alleged hypoallergenic single coat now the single coated breeds behave very differently while going through a puppy coat change so what happens with our single coated breeds, so let's take poodles for example is that the puppy coat completely gets replaced by the adult coat and that texture changes on um, the way that it behaves changes uh, so definitely know that it's kind of like a takeover it's a very natural takeover but if we don't uh, go ahead and do the right thing for our dogs while they're going through this change it kind of becomes a hostile takeover because now the dogs can get matted really really easily so we're going to talk about some examples of coat change that's going on in my circle of clients right now and how we're dealing with that um, but let's go ahead and take a look at how poodles normally behave uh, with their coat change. 
Now, because I'm going to focus on poodles, uh, because they're the relatives of the doodles and the poos, the doodles and the poos are very hard uh, to determine about uh, what's going to happen during that code change and when it happens because it's, there's so many different various mixes. Uh, we don't know. I've seen uh, doodles that go have a wiry coat and uh, have a completely different coat than other doodles that have this cottony, curly coat. So just know that the poodle mixes, so the doodles and the poos are going to have a variety of uh, different behavior when it comes to puppy coat change. I just want you guys to be aware um, that it is going to happen um, and you just have to have an eye out for it and change your behavior during this coat change. Okay, so let's take poodles, for example. Now, when I do my fact checking, I go to the AKC a lot and I'll put uh, the uh, links to some of the places that I went ahead and fact checked uh, my uh, discussion with you today. Um, but basically the consensus for poodles is, so let's take a look at how poodles come and what sizes they're in. So we have our toys, we have our miniatures, right? We have our standards in the middle. Sometimes people say there's a moyenne, but really it's the standards. You have small standards. And also sometimes people call the giant uh, poodles a royal poodle. So we have these varying sizes sizes of poodles. They're still all poodle breeds, so they all come in different sizes according if they're a toy, a miniature, a standard, right? Um, so the consensus out there is, is that the smaller poodles, who are toys and miniatures, go through their coat change earlier in their life, so a few months in, sometimes six months in, um, as opposed to our larger poodles, so our standard poodles. Basically what you see the consensus is, is that Puppy coat change goes on around the one year mark. I will tell you, I tell my clients, start looking out for it around eight months um, and figure that it's gonna continue on maybe until 14 months. So that's kind of the range that I give my clients for poodles, but you do see it come through um, around the one year mark. And for our larger poodles, the consensus is, is that the coat change uh, takes a shorter duration of time. So for our small poodles, sometimes the coat change takes six months. Uh, for our large poodles, the consensus is, is that the coat change takes about three months. Now, what does this mean for us? So because it is a takeover, so because the puppy coat is being taken over by the adult coat, the puppy coat is being released. Now, what it can ha easily, very easily happen and happens to a lot of my clients is that they kind of get caught off guard. So this puppy coat is now dying, right? Being replaced by the adult coat, but they're not brushing enough. And so this puppy coat gets stuck and now we have mats. And if you look at our vlog on matting, this can become a medical issue. And a lot of people with new puppies, so new po poodle puppies, or poodle mix puppies, they get very upset because around that year mark, uh, everything's been going fine, and then all of a sudden their puppy is matted and needs to be shaved. Uh, and people get upset about that. So we need to be aware that this is going to be happening with our poodles um, at some certain point in their life, and make sure you know if you have a small poodle, where you are, you're gonna start looking at about that six month mark. Um, for our large poodles, start looking at about the eight, nine, 10 month mark, and get ready for a change in coat. And you're gonna have to up your game. So as a groomer, um, as an aspiring groomer, you need to communicate this with your clients because there's going to be some decisions that you're going to need to make uh, with your clients during this phase. And as dog lovers, as dog owners, you need to be prepared that this is going to happen and that this is going to be a period in your puppy's life that is going to uh, require for you to up your game or make decisions that's going to be the best for your puppy during this period. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and share some examples. I'm gonna have two examples of clients that are either in the middle of coat change right now with me or are on the tail end. I'm gonna choose two clients right now that I'm working with. So the first one is a purebred standard poodle. Her name is Poppy. She's a black standard poodle and she is right now just reaching uh, her coat change. So I saw her about three weeks ago and her owners are amazing. This is the third poodle that I've been working with them uh, with and um, they just got Poppy last summer. She is a COVID puppy. Now, Poppy uh, is going through her coat change, and the way we knew that is that she had this great lamb cut. We kept her in this great puppy cut where I was just scissoring things that were kind of sticking out um, on her body. Uh, but just a few weeks ago, client comes in. Uh, we go ahead and take a look at Poppy's coat, and there's a lot of matting. And the client is a fantastic client that knows exactly how to handle the breeds, uh, really knows poodles, but just looked at me and said, Gina, it just got away from us. It just got away from us, not sure what happened. And we kind of did the math and it looks like Poppy is just in that 10, 11 month mark. Guess what? Poppy is going through her coat change. So uh, the client and I sat down and we figured out the best thing for Poppy to do. We're gonna go ahead and decide to keep 
Poppy short. No big deal. So now Poppy gets a nice short puppy cut um, that we're going to go ahead and see her through her puppy coat change so that it doesn't get matted. Poppy is not the biggest fan of brushing. So that was one of the biggest factors uh, that we had to go ahead and do the right thing for Poppy. And so we decided, so while she's going through her coat change, she's going to stay short, um, nice and tight. And then as she grows into her mature coat, we're going to go ahead and start growing it out again and do more mature sculpted haircuts with her. So the next client I'm going to talk about is Peaches, and Peaches is a golden doodle. Peaches has seen puppyhood through with me. Um, you'll see her in two of our videos where I have a grooming a golden doodle puppy. I'll link that down below in the description. Um, but uh, Peaches is also an Instagram personality. You can follow Peaches uh, at uh, Lavender Canyon. She also has a Hollywood agent. So it was really important that when Peaches started going through her puppy coat change that we kept her long. Now this required for Peach's owner to really up her game and as Peach's groomer, I had to communicate really strongly. And in fact, as Peach's groomer, I'm gonna admit that there was a moment there last two times um, before the last time, the times before that Peaches came in, I was kind of getting a little doubtful if we're going to be able to keep Peaches' hair long uh, the way that we wanted to keep it because she was going through this coat change and it's like the wind blows and the coat mats. I'm not kidding. It's one of the most critical times in a puppy's coat, especially a single coat uh, change, uh, that you go ahead and up your game and brush your dog or bring your dog to the groomer much, much more regularly. Actually, you have to do both. Um, so what we did with Peaches is we went ahead, talked to the owner, trained the owner on properly brushing with a slicker brush, properly going ahead and combing. And guess what? The owner did it. She did so good. We are now at the tail end of Peaches's uh, puppy coat change, and we're doing great. So last time she came in, which was just a few weeks ago, got through her groom really, really well with a brush and a comb, just like butter. It went through her really well. So she is now reaching the end of her uh, puppy coat change, and so things are going to get a lot easier for Peaches' owner uh, to maintain that coat and that look that we really want for Peaches. Well, all right, guys, I hope this gives you a little insight into a puppy coat change. And if you have a single coated breed or a poodle mix, so a doodle or a poo, kind of be aware that things are going to change for a little while. It's very hard to determine when that's going to happen, especially for our mixes. Um, and even with poodles that we know for centuries, um, centuries and centuries, it's still not in exact science exactly when your poodle is going to go through that coat change. So be aware that this is a critical time in your puppy's life where they're going to go ahead and get matted a lot easier. Um, if you have a single coated breed and for our double coated breeds and our smooth and short coated breeds don't forget to go ahead and still brush or comb or curry comb your dog make sure you spread those oils even make sure to keep that coat open so that your puppy has the best healthiest life possible guys thank you so much for watching if this is the kind of video that you like make sure you click that thumbs up button uh, subscribe for more like it please put any comments down below in the description we are listening and would love to engage with you and discuss this subject with you thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time